hello. So let's say we found on a public web page stored cross-site script thing. And because it's public, that means that every time users visit the page, well, the payload's going to execute. But let's say that the website has properly implemented the HTTP only flags on their cookies. This means that JavaScript is not going to be able to access the cookies and that means that the easiest way for us to demonstrate the impact of cross-site scripting is not available to us. We can't just steal session cookies like that. Even though in our browser we can see that we that we got a cookie. So what we then have to do is find a way to chain our XSS with some other vulnerabilities, maybe some CSRF or even implement like a phishing page type thing to demonstrate the impact of what we have. And this is likely going to lead to us having to send multiple payloads and we don't want to clutter up the page, for example. And let's also say that because we're going to have to find a new th another way to, to exploit this, that our payload is then going to have to be much larger. And that, let's say that this web page, the, the input form, has a character limit of like, you know, like, like what Twitter would have. So I have, so like, what is that? Like 280 characters. So if that makes things uh, sufficiently more tedious, what we can do then is send a payload kind of like this. What we're doing is we're creating a variable called script that is basically creating an HTML script tag within the DOM itself. And then what we're doing is we're saying that when we load that script variable, it will execute a function that contains an eval function. And in JavaScript, what eval does is it reads text and it executes it as code. Then we're making the source of our script tag um, point to a server that we control that is serving up a text file that contains whatever text we can now uh, dynamically put into it. And then we're just appending our script variable to the DOM. So we'll just copy that and on here we will run our server and just in uh, a text file we'll just put that into alert.txt. There we go. Um, actually, it may even need the semicolon. I'm not entirely sure. But then what we'll do is go to CyberChef, put in our payload, get rid of these uh, spaces. Probably not necessary, but uh, I want to do that. And that's going to be our payload. And from here, what we will do, we'll have a script, and we'll say eval. Actually, let's say that we're not allowed to use script tags. Let's say that there's a, they're filtering out for script tags. We can just do error equals eval a to b which is going to decode our base64 encoded payload here and let's run that and there's our alert function that we put into that text file um, what's cool uh, about this is that we can also just dynamically at any point change the contents of that alert.txt file. Let's actually do that. And what I'm doing here is I'm just creating a iframe that's going to take up the entire size of the page and just putting in, uh, you know, an h1 tag that says lol. <laughs> And now I should just be able to 
is the page and we've completely defaced the page and at any point we could just um What did I do in Vim? <laughs> okay. At any point, we could just comment all that out. And everything is back to normal, more or less. So, um, I hope that's pretty cool. I hope that uh, some of you guys can think of some uses for that. I don't know. I just thought it was pretty interesting. Yeah.